Artificial intelligence is progressing at lightning speed, and OpenAI has stunned the world yet again with ChatGPT's newest update introducing plugin integration. Top companies like Zapier and Expedia are already on board, delivering a new level of functionality and convenience. Let's jump in and see what this feature can do. Just a quick note, the plugins model is currently invite only. Head over to this webpage and join the waitlist if you want access to the alpha. With ChatGPT open, you can see that we now have access to a new model titled Plugins. To the side of that, there is a dropdown showing which plugins you have enabled and a button to open up the plugin store. Currently, there is 11, but more are definitely on the way and OpenAI has plans to enable developers to create their own plugins. So expect this store to be filled in the future. Let's try out the Zapier plugin. If you aren't familiar with Zapier, it is a powerful automation tool that connects various apps and services to streamline workflow. With this plugin application, we can connect ChatGPT to something like a Google account or a Twitter account. First, let's configure a new Zapier action. We can click this link and it will bring us to a page with our saved ChatGPT actions. As you can see, I already have a number of them set up. You have these toggles to deactivate actions on the side. And at the bottom, let's click this button to add a new action. Here, you can basically search whatever app you want to connect to. Let's search for Gmail. You have a variety of options and let's go ahead and select find email. And it'll bring up a series of additional prompts. It's asking for my Gmail account and then the search string. I leave it at have the AI guess, but you could put a specific command on there if you want ChatGPT to have a specific search string for when to execute one of these actions. Now that we have that added, let's have ChatGPT find an email I received. So I went ahead and sent a test email to myself and I'm gonna type in find email ChatGPT plugin test, which is the subject line of my email. And as you can see, Zapier is working to access my account and find it. And it says it found the email with that subject. My email's right there. And then you can see the contents of the email with a link to see it in Gmail. But maybe this is too long. Maybe I wanna digest my email in a certain way. Let's mix it up. Here, I'm gonna type find email chat GPT plugin test. But now I'm gonna add this to my prompt summarized its contents in list format. Now, instead of getting a big block of text, we have neatly listed points of the email, which is really cool because sometimes you don't have the time to read a long winded email. You just need the key takeaways. So that way you can be more productive and go on about your day. Now, let's say I want to use kayak to plan a fun trip. I would like to travel a week long trip to Tokyo, Japan. I would like to go in May. And I would like ChatGPT to find a ticket for one adult leaving from San Diego. And I would like a list of places to stay for each night. And I have a budget of $3,000. And ChatGPT will go ahead and use Kayak's plugin to access its information for my trip. And it's fetching three different things it looks like. So here we go. We have my flight. It is in May. It's from San Diego to Tokyo as I requested at the price of $809 that fits well within my budget. And then now we also have a list of possible hotels I could stay at along with their reviews and price per night. That's really cool. Um, it also has embedded uh, links to just go directly and see more detail about these hotels. I guess that makes sense given that pictures and stuff like that's very important. Let's go ahead and ask for more details on the features. And here we have a giant list of all the possible features for the hotels. That's really cool. That'll help me make a more informed decision when deciding to stay. And I mean, this is just the ultimate time saver, especially because planning a trip could be very meticulous. And we really have everything that we need to do here. So let's go ahead and scroll up and click this link and see what happens. All right, and it brings us to our kayak page with the flights. It did say the starting price was 809, which is cool. Now let's go ahead and check out the hotels. Maybe this is the one that interests me. We could just go ahead and click this link. And here we have our kayak page. We could look at the pictures. We could look at the reviews and we can see where it's located, which is pretty cool. 
Now one thing that's really cool about having plugins is that you can actually run multiple at the same time. Of course, this has a lot of potential for certain relationships between plugins to produce amazing results. In this instance, I'm going to go ahead and use Instacart and OpenTable to plan my weekend. So I want to have a keto friendly diet and this Saturday I would like to go out to San Diego for a place to eat and I would like ChatGPT to provide me with a keto friendly restaurant. That is a great recommendation. Then on Sunday, I just want a simple recipe with an ingredient list. And then I would like ChatGPT to finally go ahead and put that order in for Instacart for me. And as a result, here we have a recommendation to Riches in San Diego. We have a link to click if we'd like to book a reservation. We have our ingredients. And then we have the instructions on how to actually cook the meal that they selected for our keto-friendly diet. And then at the end, it asked if I would like to order the ingredients on Instacart. I said, yes, please. We're gonna go ahead and click this link. And here we are greeted with the Instacart uh, page, keto friendly baked chicken thighs right there. Add three items to cart. I already have a ton of items in my cart because I was testing this out earlier. And there you go. It's as simple as that. You just go ahead and click checkout and you have your meal on your way. Now, all of this is very exciting. I can't wait to see the potential that ChatGPT can reach with plugins but it's vitally important to acknowledge the potential for bad actors to exploit this. OpenAI is of course aware of the risks and takes them very serious. We're just gonna hope that they stay vigilant and keep strict security measures that way that we are all safe as we advance towards the future. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. Your support means a lot to me also, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback, so please leave a comment down below. Once again, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.